all right guys so today we have bulk coin up 29 percent so far possibly marking a dip and possibly we could see bone coin finally making the last squeeze up or that dead cat pounds or even going for new high so we're gonna go through this here in this video guys as well as we have a huge news for coq inu that meme coin on that avalanche chain guys now it appears that today avalanche foundation announced that they are gonna be buying some meme coins and that could be that coq you know which is the top meme coin on that avalanche chain in that as well got recently listed on that bybit exchange we're gonna go through this as well here guys as we have some massive bullish news here and it appears that the meme coin season is gearing up right now guys and as usual guys if you enjoy this type of videos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and with no further ado let's get into it as we've seen now bone coin is finally pushing back up now since that yesterday video guys I told you now a lot of people are fearful right now as bonk is down 65 percent and now a lot of people are gonna be fearful and afraid and as i told you guys is pretty much how the market works and you want to be the guy buying the fear and selling the greed now this is a huge example of that right now where, where we are seeing bonk coin now bouncing 26 percent now a lot of people right now are probably wondering is this that rally that's gonna send a bonk coin to new highs and finally people that bought the highs can have a chance at getting out or even making profits here but now i'm not gonna lie this looks pretty bullish on bond coin now a lot of people got scared here and probably sold a lot of their coins and right now the pain on bond coin is to the upside people that missed now the dip and as well people that sold the dip but bought the high and sold the low and made the big loss and now they are gonna see bond coin rallying they're gonna be forced into buying back up higher and as well this little pump here we're seeing on bond coin gonna create even more formal now that's when it comes to that psychological game going on here on bond coin but as well bond coin is bouncing off a major support as well now we can see this box here this being a resistance in the past and now it's bouncing off it now where can we see this going now we can clearly see we have a downtrend forming on bond coin now here now this could possibly break out but we could still target the high on that as well as on that daily open here which gives us a confluence of where we could see the first break or the first resistance on bond coin now here and this could be around here around that 1868 now this is not much granted for people that bought around here around this distribution phase here where most of the selling was happening here now the whole thing here depends as well on bitcoin guys now if bitcoin holds the line holds that 42k and possibly break out from that 44k we could still see bond coin making a move here now unfortunately guys i still think we are not gonna see new highs on bone coin now if this plays out like pepe coin this means it's gonna take some time before we see new highs on bone coin that does not mean bone coin is dead but it just means it's gonna take some time for bone coin to really show us what it's made of and get back towards those all-time highs and make new highs but so far here this is a good sign we could still see some upside in my opinion here we could still tap that 18 and even go way ahead maybe towards this view up here around that 21 even 25 here on bond coin now that is as well that question is this the bottom on bond coin is this level here the bottom on bond coin now this possibly could be the bottom on bond coin now we need more candles to close here we need more more daily candles and as well guys we're going towards that year end which usually is known for high volatility and this is pretty much very hard to navigate right now guys now the thing here is we need more time here on bond coin to really confirm that this is a bottom and if the price keeps ranging here that means we could see even a larger breakout now the longer the bond coin here stays around here the larger the breakout's gonna be because it's gonna give more time to people to accumulate around here and this is gonna form a nice accumulation before we see a real huge pump anyways guys that's when it comes to bond coin that's still a nice pump here we're seeing here today on bond coin and that's as well represent the whole meme coin space right now to see meme coin still making 
those pumps making those gains and that comes with a huge news as well as i shown you right now guys avalanche foundation right now as the same thing we've seen with bonk and i've told you i'm suspecting that solana foundation or that solana chain are behind the bonk coin pump as they were planning to airdrop it on their solana phone and that seems that it was a successful strategy that helped them onboard a lot of users into that solana overtaking it with transactions and everything like that so avalanche are looking into that and they want some of that game going on some of that juice going their way as well and they want users they want adoption they want transactions happening on that avalanche chain and that comes with no surprise guys here now the avalanche foundation here today announced the avalanche foundation launched culture catalyst a program aimed at empowering creators sparking innovation and propelling the adoption of blockchains aka their blockchain this initiative seeks to better position avalanche to cultivate and support the many new forms of creativity culture and lifestyle that blockchain enables alongside prominent crypto asset categories like gas tokens DeFi tokens real world assets nfts stable coins and governance coins now here we come to the most most important part meme coins have carved out a significant niche in the crypto asset landscape these coins often inspired by internet culture and humor go beyond mere utility assets they represent the collective spirit and share interests of diverse crypto communities now here guys this simply is they can't deny meme coins as i've been saying guys meme coins are gonna be the future meme coins are gonna be those high gainers in the bull market now recently we've seen the sec deeming all these layer one layer two coins securities like ada cardano like bnb like many other coins were deemed securities this means guys that a lot of retail traders are gonna be left trading meme coins that have no utility and usually it's hard to categorize them as securities now other than that meme coins seem to be the place where most people want to invest because people right now are tired tired of those layer one coins of high expectations of any new projects coming promising that they are gonna solve huge problems they are gonna do this and that and nothing happens and they end up dumping on people and usually there are a lot of those big venture capitalists investing in those coins and they end up dumping on us if we buy those fundamental coins that promise the, to solve the world's hunger and people have understood right now that we don't want no more of that let us buy some meme coins let us make some 200x gains and no whales no venture capitalists no hedge funds dumping on our heads and that's what's going on here right now guys recently with bonk and right now avalanche wants to get in some of that retail crowd into their blockchain and they are here saying that they want to start investing in meme coins now we can see here guys the avalanche foundation intends to start using culture catalyst aka meme coins to recognize and encourage the culture and fun symbolized by meme coins guys by purchasing select avalanche based meme coins now here guys avalanche based meme coins that pretty much sums it up to coq inu and we're seeing it here today rallying now today it's up 17 percent now you know guys if you've watched my top five meme coins for the bull market coq was one of those top meme coins and today it's up 17 percent of this news and it's been recently listed on bybit and i told you guys keep your eyes on whatever meme coin get listed on bybit binance bybit coinbase they all know each other and a coin gets listed on bybit usually it end up list getting listed on that binance or coinbase guys so you want to keep your eyes on those coins and that is why guys i was bullish on that coq in and you can go back to that video or top five meme coins there are other meme coins that are following basically the same paths now this is pretty much super bullish for coq now as soon as these guys here are gonna start pumping that coq inu guys i do think something like bone coin is gonna happen now probably coq right now is at the top of that list of the next bonk coin now pretty much it right now here guys with this news and the fun thing here it's 
pretty much few days after coq got listed on bybit we see this happening this avalanche now you need to know guys this whole this foundations and these big projects and everything like that they know each other guys they're connected they all are behind closed doors discussing plans and here guys we're seeing this playing out in plain sight few days after coq got listed on that bybit exchange we're seeing avalanche announcing that the avalanche foundation in Tends to start using culture catalyst now they they say no more from fundamentals no more solving world's hunger right now we want meme coins so guys here this just proves my point that meme coins are gonna be the biggest gainers of the bull market forget about these metaverse games those floppy birds and those coins that promise you that they are gonna solve each problems or whatever i think meme coins guys are the way to go here right now i've been buying some co on that dip and i'm gonna keep buying if we see any more dips now as i said guys bitcoin is still now somewhat closing in into a resistance we could still see bitcoin going towards that 46k and then we see a huge drop and this is when you want to be getting into these coins guys this is when you want to be getting in those coins and you don't want to let fear get in your way here guys if we do see dips and we are gonna see dips remember what's happening here don't forget about this news guys now when the news comes usually guys it takes a day or two for the euphoria and hype to die off and people forget about it people have very short memories nowadays and you want to remember those things and you want to keep an eye for any other blockchains right now guys now we are seeing avalanche following into meme coins guys and soon we're gonna see probably matic and we're gonna see cardano we're gonna see many other blockchains jumping onto that meme coin train because right now avalanche has been onto that metaverse play and it really hasn't done much for that avalanche chain but now they want meme coins guys because meme coins they do it we're seeing it with bulk coin and we've seen what happened with solana and solana phones and whatnot so that just keeps proving my point here guys anyways we're gonna wrap it up here if you have any more questions guys remember you can join my discord it's free to join link in the description and by the way coq got introduced to us on that discord by one of the members when it was still an early play now you can still leave your questions as well in the comment section and as usual guys nothing is financial advice this is purely my opinion and i want to thank you so much for hanging around here today enjoy your weekend and i'll see you on the next video cheers